Welcome to our lesson about using construction geometry. Let's start with a new part document from the metric standard, metric tab. Let's go to the metric tab and choose a standard in millimeters, OK. I'll switch to construction geometry by clicking this icon here. Now I'll activate the rectangle tool, drop it here, and align. Make the beginning of the line coincident to the left corner of the rectangle, coincident to the right top corner of the rectangle. Right click and done. Now when I resize the rectangle, the line changes size as well. Still in construction geometry, let's place a center point. Right here, right click and done. Now let's apply a coincident relation. Select the center point and the origin point and right click and done again. Now we've got a rectangle centered against the origin point. Let's unselect for construction. And now let's activate the line tool. We'll place some lines in our workspace. And a three point arc now. And I'll place the arc right about here, third point. Right click and done. Now I'm going to add two fillets. Click on the fillet tool, 10 millimeter radius. Click on this corner to apply the fillet and this corner. Let's apply dimensions now. Activate the dimension tool. This line will be 100 millimeters. Accept. This line, 120 millimeters. OK. Zoom to fit. And right click and done. Next, I'll apply a collinear constraint. Select this line and this line, this line and this construction line, this line and this construction line, and right click and done. Now let's use a tangent constraint between the arc and this line. Let's apply another dimension 95 millimeters here. OK. One more dimension is needed. To accomplish this, I'm going to use a horizontal constraint. Select this point and this point, and now our sketch is fully defined. OK, let's add a circle now. Activate the circle tool. Place it about here and align. Let's make it a construction line and a second construction line. Right click and done. Let's apply dimensions now. Here we're going to have a 15 millimeter diameter. OK. This dimension will be aligned, 40 millimeters. OK. And lastly, this angle here, 115 degrees. And OK. The sketch is fully defined. As you see, the use of construction lines can make your sketching a lot easier and also easier to understand how the geometry was created in the first place. We've completed our sketch, so now let's click Finish Sketch, the big green arrow on the ribbon. And we're on the Model tab. Let's create an extrude, 3 millimeters. OK. We'll be learning more about the extrude command later on in this course. This concludes our lesson about construction geometry.